Field borders are strips of perennial vegetation, primarily introduced or native grasses, established at the edge or around the perimeter of a crop field. To meet the NRCS conservation standard, field borders must be a minimum of 30 feet wide and wide enough to turn farm equipment. Field borders help control sheet, rill, gully, and wind erosion at the edge of a field. This is an area where end roads would typically run up and downhill. Field borders also help provide a runoff filter to improve water quality. They offer food and cover for wildlife and pollinators, and in some cases, these strips of grass and legumes may even be harvested. To maintain the integrity of the field border, farmers should shut off farm chemical sprayers when turning on the field border. Farmers should also shape and reseed border areas damaged by storms, animals, chemicals, tillage, or equipment traffic. Another common issue with field borders is planting your end rows up alongside the field border. This can cause ephemeral gullies right next to your headland. The main reason that people will put end rows on next to a field border is so their row shutoffs would work on their planters and other equipment. For more information about conservation practices in Iowa, go to the Iowa NRCS website or your local NRCS office.